In the last tutorial, I showed you how to access and customize the original loss plot. The rest of the simulation results are covered in this video. Let's now start exploring the simulation results. Let's check the far field radiation pattern at first. So expand this folder and then select far field. Notice that the frequency value is written in parentheses. In case you set up multiple far fields at different frequencies, this notation will be very useful. We can quickly see the radiation pattern at a particular frequency without fumbling around the folders. Here is the 3D radiation pattern. The current output is the activity as 1.8 GHz and the maximum value of the activity is 6.81 dBi. And this is a color ramp indicating different values by different colors. Let's now customize the appearance. If you think that the axis levels and the circles are clumsy, you just right click and disable the draw axis and to get them back just enable it again. Now let's change the plot properties. Go to file field plot properties and then go to view tab and check these two options and then press apply. The file field becomes transparent and the antenna becomes visible and it's a nice representation. You can see the maximum radiation mark but the rate happens to be at the top of the patch. You may also try to adjust the far field slide bar by sliding it left or right. And this option will draw the lines on the 3D surface of the pattern. And the next option uh, will uh, draw the longitude and latitude lines of the spherical coordinates. And this button, color ramp, it will provide you a bunch of options to make the pattern more colorful. Try them by yourself, it's pretty straightforward. Now come to the general tab and the option selected in the plot type is 3D. And that is why you are watching a 3D pattern in the window. If you want to use it as a source, you just use this option and it will save the source code in a text file. Let's check the other plot types. Select Polar and press Apply button. This is a polar plot drawn between the theta versus directivity. Theta is the elevation angle of the spherical coordinate system. The main lobe magnitude is 6.8 dBi and this is the half power beam width of the antenna and the side lobe level is minus 14.1 dB. In most applications, side lobe level must not be smaller than minus 20 dB. You may also want to see the Cartesian version of the plot. In this plot, theta is along x-axis and the directivity is along y-axis. You can save the plot data in a text file from the file menu. The next category is 2D plot. And it's a flattened version of a 3D pattern. Now let's come to the plot modes. There is a drop down list. The current output is directivity. You can select the others and check their pattern. Now let's check the surface current on the patch. But before going to see the surface current, you have to select the patch under the component folder. Here is the patch. And make sure the patch color is dark because surface current animation looks nice in a dark background. And to change the color of the patch, right click on it. And then select material properties. Change it to a dark color. Alright, now make sure the patch is already selected there. Then expand this folder. Also expand the surface current. And see, the same frequency notation is used here. Right click on it. 
and select plot properties you can change the current indicator shapes from here it has different shapes and you can increase the density of the objects and decrease the object size to a decent level press the start button to animate the current and this is the color ramp which will give you an idea about the amplitude of the sinusoidal current at any phase angle now let's see the VSWR plot of the antenna you have to calculate it from the results menu then go to S parameter calculations and then calculate VSWR I also want to calculate the impedance and admittance matrices and you will see live messages in the message window about these calculations now let's see the VSWR plot go to 1D results and then select VSWR I think you become surprised to see such a flat VSWR curve actually the real VSWR curve is not like this notice the y-axis this axis is representing a huge value and this value is the reason to flatten the curve so you have to change the value to a reasonably small value right click on it and select plot properties come to the y-axis portion untick the auto scale and specify a value 100 as the maximum value of the VSWR now the curve looks much better ideally the VSWR should be 1 and to see the VSWR at resonant frequency you have to right click and select the move axis marker to minimum then you will see the VSWR value at the resonant frequency now let's check the input impedance curve of the antenna now expand the Z matrix folder and the real part folder will provide you the input resistance of the antenna and the imaginary part will provide you the reactance part of the impedance and this folder will provide you the Smith chart of the antenna you can export the Smith chart as an image file from the file menu it will save the Smith chart as a BMP file I hope you can now explore the simulation results by yourself that is all for today and thank you for watching this video.